Hey guys, um, it's Hillary back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Security Forces Tech School. Old course versus new course. Stay tuned. I have my 2018 book where I have my notes and stuff. Um, this is from my previous video, so I did put it into use. Um, I brought it for BMT, so I have my BMT stuff that happened here, tech school, all that stuff. So um, they are changing the course. They changed it starting, I believe it was July 25th, maybe, I think so. They started doing the new course, and the new course is completely different from the old course with some similarities but um the way they do everything is completely different and they added some things that i don't know if you guys will like but um how it was before um with the old course it used to be sat week for a week which basically you run around and you do nothing you just have a bunch of briefings and you get treated like BMT, so it's like a lot like BMT. You get yelled at by these sap pushers. I don't know why I want sap pushers, but um, they act scary, but they're really not. They're just like trying to do their job and stuff. So, um, so that's sap week. Then after sap week, which is one week, um, you have CADM, which is a two week thing. And it would be like um, you shoot the M9 and the M4 and the M240 and the M241, which are machine guns, and the grenade launcher, which they're not doing anymore, but I'll get to that in the end. So, um, you shoot the M4 and the M9, and it's basically like a day of class and then a day of practicing and like testing. So they teach you how to do like, um, how to do rapid reloads and how to like take apart your weapon and put it back together. Um, so it's super, super, Fun, except it's kind of hard to stay awake um, yeah it was just hard to stay awake for me um, so then you do CADM for two weeks after CADM and you shoot and stuff and it's super fun then you have history week for a week and then history week you just learn about like the history of security forces what does the emblem mean and like um, just everything like the little things like about security forces and that's like about two weeks and then um, after combatives, you have the use of force, so they start teaching you like when to use deadly and when to use um, less lethal force. So that's that's for a week, and um, you go through scenarios with that, and you get um, PC'd on it. After that, it's deadly force, which is now more practicing more deadly um, force scenarios where you have to, where it's like the you have scenarios where you have to shoot your weapon at someone. Um, so that's Deadly Force for a week, that was really fun. After Deadly Force, it's Police Week, which is probably the most, like, dumb week ever because we literally do the dumbest things. We learn how to do traffic, like, I don't know why well, this is not traffic, like, um, how to manage traffic and we pull, learn how to pull over people and how to ask, like, why are you doing this, like, why did you get speed over? 50 miles over the speed limit, just things like that. So that's police week. Then after police week, you get the luxury of going to Campbellis for three whole weeks. Campbellis is a whole nother thing. Um, I remember when I was really gonna go to tech school and I was freaking out because everyone would say like, oh, Campbellis is like the worst thing ever and stuff. And I would just like be afraid of what was gonna happen. <laughs> but um. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't bad, bad. So, if you want to know what that's like, I have like individual like notes on what happened every day. Um, so, if you want, I can share that with you. But um, Camp Bullis is for three weeks. Then after Bullis, and you make it. Um, congratulations, you made it. And then it's nukes. So you learn about nuke stuff, and that's the thing like we're not allowed to talk about with other people and then you have the flight line, and then you graduate. And it's all in total of about 13 weeks. Um, I completed my tech school June 29th with Team 16, and that was about, 
two months ago. Uh, yeah, I'm a holdover. So basically what a holdover is, it's a grad holdover. It's when you graduate and for some reason you can't get your orders. Um, you need your orders to leave tech school. And um, there's different reasons why people can get, can be a holdover. Um, I, my security clearance is um, not determined. So I am a holdover for about two months. All my friends are like at their bases and stuff and I'm still here in tech school, which is like fine. I'm trying to be positive and stuff. But yeah, that was like two months ago. Um, only certain people get to be over, so don't get scared that you're going to be stuck here for two months. It does suck though because like you still live like with the same rules like everyone else, like everyone else that's um, training in tech school. So um, it's not very fun, but I'm hanging in here. I'm hanging on. Somehow I'm still sane. So I guess that's okay. So that is the old course. The new course is like you get OC sprayed now and you, I heard you don't even get certified if you get OC sprayed. Um, it's just like to, so you know how it feels like kind of thing. So you might still have to get OC sprayed when you get to your base because everyone gets OC sprayed when they get to their base, depending on which base. Um, so people now get OC sprayed. That is a part of the course now. I actually assisted um, with the first team to start the new course. Um, I assisted them with um, holding these mats because they had to, you get OC speed and then you have to do some baton movements um, with that. And let me tell you, it was interesting because there was a bunch of officers there, first of all. And just seeing them, like seeing adults get OC sprayed and like them like freaking out, not being able to see and like just like trying to run through it and just like grabbing the baton and just trying to like do the baton movements and then just seeing everyone's different reactions to OC spray there's a lot of people that like could do it they were like seem kind of like what's the word for it it's like they were immune to it but they're not really immune they just like weren't really affected that much compared to other people and then there was other people that were like screaming and then like they just couldn't control and the reason why we're doing OC spray is because like if we're gonna have the OC spray you have to know what it feels like you have to know what it feels like when you use it against someone you have to be able to know what that's like and if you ever get OC spray you need to learn to control it and how it's mental and stuff so I haven't gotten OC spray I don't know if I will I don't know if I will I'm going to a nuke base so, I don't know, but it was interesting watching that. So we added that to the course. We also added this land navigation course, which is not a part of like the old course that I read to you guys. And actually, me and along six other grad holdover airmen defenders um, were the guinea pigs to that. So they had like the course and they wanted to test it out with airmen to see how long it takes for airmen to catch on to the material and actually go out and apply it um, on land by yourself. So that was very interesting. Um, I loved it. I love like, the more I get to learn, the better. So they taught us how to, like you get this big huge map and they teach you how to find out where you are by knowing two other points or like how to figure out where you're going from point A from point B with just using a compass a pencil, math, and that's it, and your feet. So um, all about like magnetic, true magnetic north, whatever, yet to minus degrees, some other math, and then, sorry, excuse me, and um, just a lot of like things that come together um, so you can figure out all this location math stuff and it was really cool and then they finally take you out to Bolas. Like they took us out to Bolas, put us in the middle of nowhere and we had to find, um, they give us like scenarios, like they give us a piece of paper that said like you had to go to these specific locations in a certain amount of time. So like we got there probably like at 8 or 9 and we had to be finished like by lunch and it was like 4 hours to do it all. So you had to know like what you were doing and they paired us in two. So they paired us in two. And you had to find these 
specific locations to get to and you have to figure it out using your compass, using um, your pencil and just like what they taught you using Magnetic North and all that stuff. So that was really fun. Um, it was really hot though and you have to like, you're literally walking in the woods, like in the middle of nowhere. Of course it's like campolis. So um, me and the guy I was paired with, when we, um, we were the first ones done and our cadre was like super impressed with us and um, I forgot his name. I think his name was like Buck something, I'm not sure. But we did really, really well. We found everything and people, some people got lost. Some people like had to go this way and they ended up like all the way like super like off the grid. So I just thought that was funny. Um, for that, I give advice, like my advice for it is to pay attention and ask questions. Like if you really don't get something, ask questions. And that is for everything, for every single like material and stuff. Um, a lot of people fail tests. Um, the new course only has two tests now, which is like use of lucky son of a guns. The old course had a lot of tests and people didn't pass, people got automatically washed back, people had to retest it, retest a lot. So you just have to really make sure you are focused, even if you're sleepy and tired from training the day before, you have to put all that aside and just like, you know, you just have to do what you're supposed to do and ask questions and even if, even if you think it might be dumb, like just ask the question because it's better to ask a question than get washed back and leave your whole team, you know? So um, I have a few friends that are in the new course and I'm gonna try to get them to like, cause like this new course thing, they're just trying it out right now with the new team. So um, they're still doing it. They still like, it's still in progress. Um, so they, we haven't had one team that has successfully finished the new course, but I can bring someone in and like maybe like interview them and like maybe if you guys want to like have specific questions about the new course, you guys can like, you know, you guys can like leave questions and then I'll ask like it's the other person that's doing the new course and that way you guys have answers because old course that's me but the new course they're not doing it anymore. The old course they're not doing anymore so yeah um if you guys have any questions about anything um you guys can ask me for sure i'll like i have a whole bunch of time in my hands because obviously i'm a grad holdover which sucks um if you guys have questions about sap pushing about um the new course just like you know, ask me and I will get you the answers. I will literally get you every answer. Um, so that is it for this video. It's been long enough. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And that's it. So I'll see you in my next video.